hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be making an envelope clutch so the materials we need i have my carry board you need your shipboard your scissors i'm going to be working with this um beautiful ankara mix um prints i have about one two three four five i have about five prints um the measurement i have here will determine how i'm going to cut my um ankara mix print so what i have here the measurement i used here is 2.5 inches the measurement here is two inches two inches two inches and here is 2.5 inches so what i did i just um sewed them together you can see from the back i just drained them together and gave it a good press so that's what i did in some cases you can stop stitch through the line you can stop stitch the fabric through the line but i didn't do that i just gave it a good press and that was it so the lining i have here is velvet and these are our hardware i have my chain magnetic snap rivet and so on So to get the pattern for the bag, I'm using my carry board to get the pattern, the measurement I'm using, the width which is from here to this place is going to be 9.5 inches. So the width is 9.5 inches. The height from here to this place is 7 inches for the front, the back 7 inches as well. Then I came up with the top base at um, 0 0.5 inch. Okay, then the flap, which is going to be from here to this place, is 5 inches. Okay, so what I did in the flap, I came in by 1 inch. That's from the top base. I came in by 1 inch. That's from here to this place by 1 inch. From here to this place by 1 inch. Then I connected it to the midpoint. The midpoint that you divide 9.5 by 2. To get the midpoint from the midpoint i made a triangle by connecting it to the one inch marks that on the left and the right hand side so that's how we got the pattern so i'm going to cut off all this excess now so as you can see i've cut off all the excess so just follow the instruction and you'll be able to do it right it's actually very very simple okay so the next thing we are going to do now is to wrap are um, carry board from this side they are going to place your african print fabric on it so i'm going to do that now okay so now i have applied gum to the carry board the next thing is to lay your ankara fabric down and place your carry board on your african print ensure there is a little allowance on at the edges okay so you just place it down like this Turn it at the other side and make sure it's straight. Turn it on the other side. You can see that there is very little allowance left. So we can actually fold it. The reason why I didn't join excess is because I really didn't want this line to be at the edge of the carry board. I don't know if you understand what I mean. I wanted it to be balanced i didn't want this part to be at the other side where by sometimes it will be bent so that's why i worked with the exact measurement and added little allowance on this um 2.5 inches you know the rest is two inches why this two is 2.5 the reason why the extra five um 0 0.5 inches dead is to fold it over so now i'm going to apply glue on the edges so once you've applied the glue the next thing is to turn it over then you can cut off all this excess fabric you can just cut it off because you won't be needing it again then just start covering it up and this is it this is what we have can you see it this is what we have 
is already coming out really nice so the next thing we are going to do is to um get the shape you are just going to get your sheep board place place it here like this now it's not more that the um the sheep board must get to the end the reason why i'm using sheep board here is because i'm going to be inserting my magnetic snap and i don't want to insert the magnetic snap directly on the um velvet which is the lining so i'm using a sheep board to do that so i'm going to trace it just trace this top triangle i'm going to trace it on the sheep board just like this okay so whatever i get i can just cut it out then i'm going to use the ruler to just connect it so it will look nice at least even if you are not working with the perfect triangle so now the next step is to trace this we are going to trace this exact shape on our lining i'm going to do that and show you okay guys so we've traced the um carry board on the lining we trace the exact shape all the way around okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to apply gum on the sheep board once i've applied gum on the sheep board i'm going to take it to this place that we we've traced we are going to do is to fix a magnetic snap a magnetic snap as well as a rivet so first thing first i'm going to fix my magnetic snap on this sheet board i'm going to come down by 0 0.7 inches so this way i'm going to be fixing it from this top so i'm going to take my magnetic snap now Now remember this is the one that we are going to be fixing here why right, this one will be on the body okay so i have to mark it from here but insert it from the front so i'm just going to place it like this just to get the marking I'm going to insert it through the hole So this is it so the next thing I'm going to do is to fix the rivet now if you remember the length of the um, the height of the flap is 5 inches plus additional 0 0.5 inch so all we have to do is come down a little by half an inch so I'm going to be measuring 6 inches which is directly um, below the top base I'm going to measure six inches from here so this is where our six inches is let me use the shock so this is where our six inches is which is here our six inches is here right so from the other place that we traced all you have to do is channel the six inches the six inches line okay so from the place you trace from the end of where you trace you are going to mark out one inch which is where you are going to be fixing the rivet mark one inch and it should tally with where the six inches um line is which is here okay now we are going to be fixing our rivet now which is um where we are going to be hanging our chain so i'm just going to puncture a hole i'll puncture a hole here and here as well as you can see i also cut out two pieces of shipboard i'm just going to insert the rivet like this okay this is how we are going to be placing it I'll do the same thing for the other side now okay so as you can see i've inserted the rivet 
so the next thing i'm going to do is to fix the other magnetic snap now if you remember like i said the height of our flap is five inches okay so all i have to do is come in here and measure five inches so this where five inches is right here right now from that five inches i'll go up by the same 0 0.7 inch that i did i'll go up by the same 0 0.7 inch that i did here okay so this is where we are going to be fixing fixing our magnetic snap but again you want to ensure that it's at the midpoint of 9.5 what's the midpoint of 9.5 just fold your tape like this. Our midpoint is 4.7. So you want to make sure you are fixing it at 4.7. So you take your magnetic snap and you place it. You place it on this place like this. Then you punch a hole. After puncturing the hole, you just insert your magnetic snap. So this is how it's going to be. So now the next step now is to fix the lining. But before we go about the fixing of the lining, we need to fold this over just to get that triangular shape before placing it on the body. So I'm going to apply gum here now. So um From this place, we are going to be folding it. But from this place, we are not going from at the part we are, the lining part that we are going to be inserting here. We are not going to be folding it. What do I mean? Let's come in by the flap measurement, which is five point five. Then we have six inches, so we are going to be using six point five, which is here. Which means from this six point five, I'm going to be notching it. I'm going to be notching this six point five marked like this okay so from notching it from that place i notch that's where i'm going to be folding it over so i'm just going to cut off the little excess so i'm just going to fold here like this on the line that we traced don't forget you know we traced out a line so from that line that we trace that way i'm folding it over now can you see what i'm doing so you just be folding it over just fold it over do the same thing here as well on the same line that you traced like this like this okay from here and turn it to the other side like that so this is it this is your triangle right now if you feel this is too complex for you then you can go ahead and cut your shipboard down to this down to the end of um, the top base so i like to leave it like this okay so now that i've done this the next thing is to apply gum on this body now once you've applied gum you will now place it like this okay you can see what i was telling you that this part that i notched i'm going to cut it out i'm not going to fold it inside so now i'm going to apply the gum then i'll show you what it look like okay guys so i've applied gum and these are lining so now i'm going to place the lining on the body just like this okay can you see how neat it is as long as you trace it it's not going to be difficult then you just straighten it like this can you see it you just straighten it like this this is the part that you notched inside right just make sure it's well placed if the notching was not deep enough you can always work on it okay so this is it this is what it looks like you can see how neat it is so now you take your scissors now 
and you cut off this excess but you have to be very careful so you don't cut the ankara just focus on cutting your lining you just go all the way around you just cut it carefully make sure it's not in any way touching the ankara fabric so i'm going to cut everything now okay guys you can see i've trimmed it out now why the upper part is still folded so the next thing you are going to do is to take note of our seven inches remember the height of our post is seven inches so you are going to mark the seven inches which is right here so that's where the seven inches is i'm going to mark it on the edges as well this is where seven inches is and this is where seven inches is there's no need to use your ruler to connect it so from that very point you are going to fold it into two like this can you see it you're going to fold it into two don't worry about the chain okay so you're going to fold it into two like this so this is what it's actually going to look like after you folded it into two this is what we are trying to achieve right so the next thing you want to do is to take it to your sewing machine you can use your flatbed sewing machine so you take it to the sewing machine what you are going to do from this angle just make sure it's equal you can use a clip to clip it down then you take it to your sewing machine you're going to stop stitch straight like this you go all the way around down to the other side preferably is i recommend you sew from the front not from the lining part so you sew from here make sure it's straight go all the way around down to the other side i'm going to do this off camera i'm very sorry i can't do this in this video so i'm going to do this off camera and show you guys what it look like so guys as you can see i'm done sewing the purse if you have any excess thread you can just take a fire and burn it off okay just use the thread um just use your um lighter to just burn those excess off okay that way it won't lose especially if you are using a bag um thread okay so this is it i'm done sewing you can see how beautiful it is i have already inserted the chain okay I mean, you know the amazing part of it to tell you that the measurement and everything was accurate is the fact that the fabric still aligned with each other even after sewing so you can see how neat it is very neat and if you're interested in buying these bag materials or you're finding it difficult to locate where to get these bag materials all you have to do is send a dm to at craft to tej on instagram or official tej and please guys please i know most of you are watching this video and you refuse to subscribe please i'm begging you to subscribe support your girl subscribe to my channel so thanks so much guys for watching my video remember to like comment share and subscribe i'll see you in my next video